The city of Allen Park is unveiling its plan for the site of the historic Allen Park Theater. We were there in 2019 when that theater closed down. Well, now it's in the process of being demolished, but soon the downtown area could have a unique community park in its place. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell takes us downtown to show us the history of the area and what community members think about the possible park. If you ask business owners why they choose to locate in downtown Allen Park, you'll learn it's about heart. There's a certain kind of person who chooses to have a business in like a downtown. Talk to me about why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. But, uh, you know, my, uh, growing up in Allen Park, uh, my grandfather always had a fruit market on Allen Road. And Every day as Chris Duccini comes and goes from Duccini Orthodontic Laboratory, he sees pictures of his family, places they made memories, and fellow business owners who are like family. You come down here, I got, I got Mr. Morrow next to me at Morrow's Fine Dime. He's just dropping off pasta. I see the sign in the window for sale for lease. So I checked into it, and 42 years later, I'm still here. Mr. Morrow, who says he's approaching 80, owns Morrow's of Allen Park. With the help of his family and staff, he serves traditional Italian dishes that you cannot get just anywhere, such as flaming desserts. We buy the best, treat it the best, serve it the best, because the folks deserve the best. The people set the atmosphere in the restaurant. I don't have no TVs here, nothing. When they come here, they come here to eat. When you feel the way history is valued in this downtown, you can see why this is pulling heartstrings. So many have made memories at the historic Allen Park Theater that is being demolished. My first memory was there is that we went to go see uh, E.T. Yeah, I remember watching Bolt way long time ago when I was a child. As they say goodbye to the theater, this week city leaders unveiled this, a vision for the future of the site. A tentative plan would feature a small amphitheater and a pavilion with garage doors, making it usable year-round for events, entertainment, or a farmer's market. The city has requested about $5 million in funding from Wayne County through its American Rescue Plan Act state and local fiscal recovery funds. When the theater closed, a lot of people felt grief because they had so many memories there and they really felt nostalgic for the old times. The businesses that are still here in downtown Allen Park, such as Murrow's of Allen Park, want you to know there are still opportunities to experience nostalgia. For example, a world-class Italian dinner. This is really good. That's the Villa Marsala. The improvements over here where the theater was, I think it's a plus for Morrill's Dining here. I'd be one of their best customers if it was a farmer's market. I think it's a great idea. In Allen Park, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.